Welcome to Sweden, a land of vast forests and a hundred thousand lakes. The availability of wood and water has formed the foundation for the manufacture of wood-based products for hundreds of years. The Iggesund mill is located in the middle of Sweden, embedded in forest, by the shores of the Baltic Sea. This is where Invercoat was born, more than 50 years ago. The making of Invercoat requires three main ingredients, wood, energy and water. The wood comes from sustainably managed forests, whose trees are allowed to grow for a hundred years to reach full maturity. The prime focus of forest management during a tree's life cycle is on producing timber suitable for sawn products, for example flooring and furniture. The logs that do not meet sawmill requirements, as well as residues from the sawing process and sorted younger trees, are used for paperboard production. The wood is transported from the nearby forests to Igesund's woodyard. The combination of sawmill, pulp and paperboard mills that comprise the biocombinant in Igesund enables every part of the tree to be used in the best possible way. From the woodyard, large trucks transport the logs to the next stage of the process, that of stripping them of their bark in the barking drum. The debarked logs are cut into chips and then sorted to prevent issues that might affect the quality of the pulp and ultimately of the paperboard. Rejected chips are burned along with the bark to provide additional bioenergy. The wood chips are then boiled in a strong alkaline solution, white liquor, in a digester for a minimum of six hours. The process frees the cellulose fibers by dissolving the binding agent in the wood, lignin, which transforms the white liquor into energy-rich black liquor. The black liquor fuels the recovery boiler, producing steam, which is the main type of energy needed to operate the mill. All the energy produced is bioenergy, extracted from residues from the trees used in the manufacture of Invercoat. The chemicals used during the cooking process are fully recycled and reused. This internal cycle makes the mill entirely energy self-sufficient on non-fossil bioenergy and keeps the use of chemicals to a minimum. Freed of lignin, the cellulose fibers are then washed and bleached in a multiple stage process. This process produces pulp that is pure and white and ready to be pumped to the board machines and the Invercoat production line. The making of Invercoat calls for a blend of long, soft wood fibers from spruce and pine and the shorter, hard wood fibers from birch. Invercoat's unique features are achieved through carefully blending the fibers in the various layers of the paperboard. The long fibers give strength and elasticity, while the short fibers help give the outer layer the even surface which forms the basis of Invercoat's excellent print characteristics. The water for the process is taken from a nearby lake system and purified before it is used in the factory. The cellulose fibers are mixed with the purified water and pumped onto the wire section of the board machine, where the separate layers of fibers are formed into a web on a forming wire. A fine plastic mesh from which the water drains or is pulled away by suction. The layers are merged together, one at a time, to form a multi-layered construction, which is the basis for Invercoat's stiffness, smoothness and flexibility. In the press section, the paperboard is put through press nips that squeeze more of the water out. In the drying section, the paperboard is dried further as it passes through a series of hot rollers, heated by steam from the recovery boiler. The water content, which was 99% at the start of the board machine, has now fallen to 5%. The water is reused many times, 
after which it is put through a multi-stage cleaning process to ensure that it will not impact on the marine environment when released into the sea. After passing the drying section, the board is calendared smooth to further improve its surface. The final coating stage sees one, two or more coating layers applied, depending on what kind of Invercoat product is being produced. The coating formulas are important factors for the board's surface and printing characteristics and are well-kept secrets. After coating, the board is rolled into massive reels that can weigh 40 tons and comprise 30,000 meters of paperboard. These reels are then cut down into customer-specific sizes, reels and sheets. The mill in Igesund turns renewable wood, clean water and bioenergy into Invercoat, a high-end paperboard appreciated by demanding printers, converters and brand owners all over the world.